It has been more than a month since Las Vegas was shut down by the coronavirus. With the number of confirmed cases continuing to climb, though, in Nevada, Governor Steve Sisolak says any move to reopen businesses will be incremental. For some, though, that is not fast enough. Two days ago, hundreds gathered in protest of the city's closure. The most consistent pushback, though, has come from the mayor of Las Vegas, who has recently called the shutdown insanity. Joining me now by phone, the independent mayor of Las Vegas, Carolyn Goodman. Uh, uh, mayor Goodman, thank you very much for joining us. I want to ask you about a bit of pushback that you're receiving from some of the major uh, business leaders and um, other leaders in your in your city. Um, Win Resort CEO Matt Maddox called um he said this in an op-ed, I commend our governor for making the difficult decision and taking early action in the fight against COVID-19. I believe his decision saved lives. And earlier today, Stephen Klubuk, the chairman and CEO of Diamond Resorts International, had this to say about your recent stance on reopening the economy. Take a listen. Mayor Goodman is the mayor of the city of Las Vegas downtown. She has nothing to do with the strip. And we're sick and tired of hearing this. The person in charge of the strip is Miss Kilpatrick, and she's head of the county commission. And that's what runs the strip once and for all. Enough, Mayor. You have nothing to do with the strip. Mayor Goodman, you keep calling it insanity. You want it to reopen. What do you make of that pushback? Uh, well, he couldn't be more correct, and I've known the gentleman for a long, long time, and he's absolutely correct. The strip is in the unincorporated Clark County. All I'm talking about is this is a hospitality service industry state. We have built this being very careful to make sure we're inspecting, licensing, and keeping our workers employed and giving the great a um, uh, community that wants to have a good time or bring their convention here safe, secure, and having a healthy environment. We wouldn't be so successful if that weren't happening. And Mr. Klubeck, unfortunately, has not called or told me um, any of his opinions, and I've known him a long time. The reality is what I assume is that everybody is, is – um, a carrier that 100 percent of our population is asymptomatic, but a carrier. And so how do we move forward? What do we do to keep our people working, to keep our parents being able to put food on the table, pay rent, and keep a roof over their head? So many now who live paycheck to paycheck and are in the service industry supported by these hotels have no way to do that. They can't stay at home because they don't have a home. And so the reality is this is a wonderful community that has proven itself to the world by how it conducts itself, its gaming, everything that we've done. And my whole opinion is get our people back to work. That's the entire press. And it had nothing to do. I never spoke about the strip being open or closed because, truly, he's absolutely correct. I have nothing to do with that. I am concentrating on the city of Las Vegas where we're ready to get back in business and assuming that everybody's asymptomatic or is a carrier, how do we do that, do it safely and protect our people? And, and most importantly, take care of our elderly who are the most susceptible to um, having a, a, a terrible experience or perhaps even dying. And we love our seniors. I so happen to be a senior. Mayor Goodman, how do you do that? If you assume everybody is an asymptomatic carrier, Vegas Vegas runs on crowds. They run on crowds in small spaces, yeah. um, interacting yeah. with each other, using yeah. slot machines, touching the same things, breathing the yeah. same filtered air uh, through the casino. A lot of smokers in Vegas making people highly susceptible to this disease. How do you keep people safe? Do you think it's possible? Well, absolutely. I mean, consider the fact that the, we have grown so exponentially here over the past 40 years. It's been incredible. And we've survived the West Nile and SARS, bird flu, E. coli, swine flu, um, the Zika virus. And we've done Those it. Those were not as contagious. In they were not as contagious and, and they did not spread as far as this disease has well, already done. 
Well, we'll find out the facts afterwards. Unfortunately, we all do better in hindsight. But those are the we facts. Really we, have, have, we, have a, we have a death toll. Well, we have a death toll uh, yeah. that, that proves it. We have we have cases around the country that prove that. Those are the well, facts. Well, uh, assuming that you are correct, it is. It's the masks. It's perhaps, perhaps, but we do deal in crowds, and we have lived through all of these other virus contagious, highly contagious diseases, and yet we have managed to continue to have wonderful conventions come up here and be a center for now Mayor growing. Goodman, there's no so. assuming that I'm correct. That that is that. Is, that are the, those are the numbers that are released by the federal government. Well, seven hundred and ninety-one more than seven hundred and ninety-one thousand cases. In the state of Nevada, we're over three million people, and we have one hundred and fifty-one sadly lost individuals. Most but of whom could that be due to the fact that your casinos and your businesses are not open right now, and people are not interacting? No, no, no. They were, well, from the point of has it been measured, has it been their control group, when you're doing statistics, control groups are absolutely so paramount. So everything is going to be looked at, and we certainly defer to, I look to Dr. Fauci, who has said that this is a, a virus that's going to be here and could recur next year or could last all the way through into December. So do we absolutely keep everybody out of work and destroy the life of people and our children and next generation because we have a fight in our hands with the virus. And I am making the assumption that everybody's a carrier. So let's go forward, open up the city, open up whoever wants to open up, but do it in a very responsible, cautious way. And my first place would have been, obviously, as soon as we knew it was senior bound, was to go in and protect the seniors. And we know little children carry germs because they're in school. The littler the child, the more they come home with germs. The time you start your child in kindergarten, you are fighting germs and back in it goes right through the family and back to school again, they go to the next germ. So my thing is not a negative, it's positive. How do we move forward? Assume everybody has it and we don't have to worry so much about the testing authentication because there's no treatment right now. And it would apply to all of us who are sitting out there thinking, well, maybe I had it in January because I had these symptoms. And what do I do when, if we assume everybody is a germ carrier, what do they do when they're sick? The thing is, look at the, look at the various symptoms that are carried and do, do what you're told. Con contact your doctor. And at the only when the hospitals are telling us and the doctors are telling us different pieces of information. This is what you do when you're sick. And so as we go to control it, assume everybody's a carrier. And then you start from an even slight right there and tell the people what to do and let the businesses open and competition will destroy that business if, in fact, they are become evident that they have disease, they're closed down. It's that simple. We inspect all the time. We license all the time. We have... Uh, um, things in place to make sure that the hygiene's there. We have people that goes, go into restaurants to examine, see if they're clean. And that's why the hotels are so successful here in their restaurants, because they have absolutely adhered to hygiene and good hygiene. That's a modern day survival of the fittest that you're laying out. Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman, thank you very much for joining us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.